everybody welcome back to my channel how are we doing out there during these times i'm doing pretty good but i know a lot of you are stressing so i figured what better time to talk about some just feel good light-hearted books that are very hopeful in nature very light reads that are just gonna put a smile on your face so let's talk about my favorite feel good books the first couple I'm going to talk about are more romance centric. So let's talk about those first. Um, of course, I have to recommend The Hating Game by Sally Thorne, the ultimate enemies to lovers romance book that I absolutely adore. If you want just good classic office romance with enemies to lovers that does it the trope so well and the two main characters are so fun then I definitely recommend Hating Game. This one put a smile on my face for sure. So if you just want a quick easy read look no further than The Hating Game. The current romance book that I have that I recently read and loved was Evie Drake Starts Over by Linda Holmes. Um, this one is also a little bit lighter in tone uh, than a lot of other romances and I think the romance in this is really really well done. The characters are adorable and I love the message of like independently finding happiness, um, not relying on someone else to bring you happiness. So what better time to talk about finding happiness than right now? So if you want to find a book that does it really well, check out this one. Of course, of course, no one is surprised I'm going to be recommending this one. Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren uh, is definitely my favorite Christina Lauren book that I have read so far. I think this is the cutest characters that are just so likable and the friends to lovers trope is so well done in this one. I loved every minute of this book. I thought it was so, so cute and you just love Hazel so much. Oh, so just again, like if you want to smile, if you want a little escape from the world right now, this is such a good one to pick up. It's short read, easy, light, yes. Another one that I don't see anyone talk about that I think is really, really good uh, is One Plus One by Jojo Moyes. So Jojo Moyes wrote Me Before You, which is her most popular book, and is actually my least favorite Jojo Moyes that I've read so far. So I really actually recommend One Plus One over that one in any other Jojo Moyes book because I think this is one of my favorites of hers. I think it's really, really cute. It's another kind of friends to lovers um, about, you know, this woman who's kind of a single mom at her wit's end and meets this guy. And it's just this really, really sweet story about family, about hope, about happiness, and just like, yes, all the things that we need right now, all the hopeful messages, it's so cute. So cute! I highly recommend this one and it definitely needs more love on this platform. Alright, and last, um, I guess kind of romance, I think this is a little bit more contemporary. Uh, Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. I personally really, really enjoyed this one. Um, I know a lot of people don't love this as much because you really follow this woman named Eleanor Oliphant who is definitely quirky and has a very specific sense of humor and wit and sarcasm that could rub people the wrong way. But for me personally, I loved her and I found her kind of commentary on society, very, very funny. And she meets this guy, complete opposite of her, but brings out the best in her and he, she brings out the best in him. And it's just so sweet. I absolutely love this story. It doesn't focus as much on the romance as some of the other reads, but it really does focus on just Eleanor Oliphant and her kind of coming into her own. And I love that. So I also think that this is a really, really feel good kind of novel to pick up during this time. I also have a young adult contemporary. I always feel like I have to try to recommend in any video that I can. And that is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. Here is the cover. I need to get the different, the hardcover version of this because I do not like this cover. It doesn't say the name of the book. Uh, this is I'll Give You the Sun. I love this book. It follows two twins who are complete opposites of each other and are teenagers kind of coming of age um, in high school and they're taking very different paths and um, they're, they're really not getting along right now and it's 
hurting them both inside a lot. So it's kind of not only their own coming of age stories in this book, but also them finding each other again. And I loved it. The writing style especially really, really stood out to me as being very, very unique and fun and quirky. So this is a great, great feel good novel. If you are looking for something that's a little more focused on the coming of age story, a little bit younger of an audience, uh, for sure. So definitely recommend. And then of course, because I love fantasy so much, I have to recommend a couple of feel good, fun fantasy novels. The first being An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. I know a lot of people don't love this book, but I personally really enjoyed it for what it was. It's very short. It's a quick and easy read. It is a fae story and it's just really sweet and fluffy. And if you're not looking for something like epic and heavy and has like this huge world and these epic characters and you just want something very contained and sweet and has this cute little romance in it, then I definitely recommend An Enchantment of Ravens. The writing is beautiful in this book. I love the messaging in it. I think it's really, really important to read this and realize how special it is to be human. And I just, I really loved this one. So it worked for me. If, if you go in with the expectation that it's very contained, very short and sweet, don't expect like these huge, you know, worlds and characters and all that. Just go in with low expectations like I did and you'll actually be really pleasantly surprised. The last book and my personal favorite on this list, since we're all probably at home and have a lot of time on our hands, that is going to be Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. So this is my more epic fantasy pick that I think is probably the most fun epic fantasy I've read up to this point, just because it doesn't take itself too seriously. There are a lot of characters who have really funny senses of humor. The romance in this is absolutely adorable. I loved all of the characters. It's one of those fantasies that it feels epic in nature, but it also isn't too serious and, and too focused on themes of these epic proportions. It really does focus more on a, a sister relationship and bond, uh, a romance that ensues and that's really, really sweet, and a magic system that's really, really cool. I love the magic system in this. It's all about breaths and every human having one breath to their body and if they give up that breath they can no longer see color but for those who have more breaths than just the one they can see colors and more vividly and their senses are all heightened so i love the magic system in this i love sanderson's worlds and magic systems in general um but i think that this is definitely his most fun novel that isn't too serious it's just a ton of fun wild ride. I highly recommend Warbreaker. So those are some of my favorite feel-good books. Hopefully this list helps you find a book that you can use to just escape and smile for just a couple of hours. That is so important right now. So I hope all of you out there are staying safe, staying healthy, and thank you so much for watching with me today. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. I release new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And until next time,